Time for another youth video report, so... Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. It's Monday, it's Thanksgiving week, and so I know you're excited about that. You guys are out of school uh, right now. My kids still have to go today and tomorrow, but anyway, always love Thanksgiving week and just uh, getting ready for that day. We get, get together with our family and we uh, eat turkey and dressing and some of the things that we don't usually eat during the uh, the regular uh, calendar year, but we look forward to it on Thursday. So I hope that you are planning that and that you will enjoy this time with your family and being out of school. Anyway, guys, today I want to read a verse of scripture to you from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. And it says this, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Now, forgiveness is such a great and awesome thing uh, about our faith in that no matter, I mean, God is able to forgive us of all our sins. Once, you know, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, Christ's death on the cross pays for every single sin that we've ever committed and ever will commit. We, we want to repent of those sins and get back in right relationship with him when we make a bad choice uh, that involves sin. But what, the, what Matthew's saying here is emphasizing the fact about our responsibility to forgive other people. In that, you know, when other people wrong us, when other people do things against us, even if they never ask for forgiveness, if they never come to us to make any gesture uh, to reconcile or to, uh, to make up for what they have said or done, we're called upon to forgive them. Now, forgiving them does not mean the same thing as we are going to entrust them again and somehow allow them to be able to hurt us again. It doesn't mean that we're going to pay them back, we're not going to be vengeful towards them, but it means that we have forgiven this person. It's very difficult, especially when you've been hurt deeply. I think you know, we, we've asked this question before, um, is forgiveness the same thing as avoidance? And it is not. If I avoid you, so I don't have to think about you because you've wronged me, but I never forgive you, that's not what the Bible teaches. We are to forgive those people that have wronged us, just as God forgives us when we have sinned and turned against him. Anyway, guys, it's very hard to do. It's something you have to spend a lot of time in prayer about and ask God to really prepare your heart to be able to forgive folks because it's emotional. It hurts a lot of times, and it's very difficult to be able to forgive that person. doesn't mean we'll ever you know, trust them the same way that we used to. Maybe over time we will but we absolutely need to be able to forgive them as God forgives us. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day, great week. Don't forget about tomorrow night uh, is our bonfire barbecue at our house. If you need a ride, listen, not many people have said they're coming. If I don't hear from you, we this thing may not come off. So please let me know that you're planning to attend. And if you need a ride, I need to know that as well. Anyway, guys, God bless you. Have a great day. Be thankful this week for everything. Talk to you soon. Bye.